Hey everybody, this is Matt from Rock U, back with another One Minute Masterclass. Today's Masterclass, how to choose songs for your cover band. That's right, this is not a technique video, I don't need the guitar today, it's just for show. But this is actually one of the hardest skills to learn. That's at least what we found out at Rock U. We've been doing this for a long time, we've had many, many bands, we've done over 500 cover songs. It's really hard to pick the songs that you're going to play. And there's a few reasons for this. First. You may have different musical tastes. You might have someone who likes pop and someone who likes heavy metal in the same band. Second, you may have different skills. Someone's really good at finger picking, but what you need is a shredding solo. And someone else can sing really high, but the vocalist in the song should have a deep voice. There's a whole bunch of different reasons why. You may need different instruments than the song has that you want to do. For example, you might pick a song that has a lot of keyboards and a lot of horns in it, but your band has four guitar players. Probably not a good choice for your band. You may have something to do with ego, too. You may have some people that want to control the songs that the band plays and some people that don't want to have anything to do with choosing the songs. So this isn't an easy thing to do. I suggest you consider five different things when you choose a song for your band. First, does your band like the song? And there's two different ways you can like the song. You can just like the song, or you can like to play the song even if you don't like the song that much. Either one is fine, as long as you're enjoying yourself. The, band, the audience is going to know whether you're enjoying yourself. Second, can you play the song well? Do you have the right skills to play that song? Is it the right level for your band? Do the parts that need to be the, the do the parts that are tougher, uh, are they within the range of the people who are going to have to play them? Third, is the audience going to like the song? And also, is the audience going to know the song? Those aren't exactly the same things. You can get away with some songs that your audience doesn't know if they're paying attention to your set, but too many songs that they've never heard before, unless you are like, the best band in the world, or you're playing original songs and they realize that before they come, you're going to lose their attention. People tend to like songs that they already recognize and play songs that you, that you think they're going to want to hear. Fourth, does the song work well within your set? For example, if you have two ballads picked out and you're trying to pick a third song, you don't want another ballad. You want something with a little more energy. Think about how the set is going to flow. And finally, does the song show off your abilities? Now, if you're a working cover band, obviously, you don't need to worry about that, but if you're a working cover band, you're probably not watching this video. If you're a student band or a band that's trying to get some attention, you want to play songs where people can look at you and understand what you bring to the table as a musician. Uh, once you've worked all this out, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. Hopefully you'll all agree and you won't have to go through this, but you might have a situation where one person's in charge of picking the songs, or you might have a, a situation where you vote on the songs and everyone can suggest songs, or sometimes we do something at Rock U where each person suggests a couple of songs and the other band members choose one of those to put in the set so that everyone feels like they've got something in, you know, in the set that they like to play. If you have a following, you might want to let your fans pick some songs for you. It's kind of cool if your fans can come to the concert and know that you're going to play a song that they requested and it'll be the first time that you play it. Uh, there's a lot of other ways to choose songs, but just keep all those things in mind. Remember, when you're choosing songs, remember that when you play a live show, you're telling three stories. You're telling the story of the song. You're telling the story of your band. And you're telling the story of that show. And the audience is part of that story. So choose songs that are going to tell a good story. That's it for today. Come back and see us again for another One Minute Masterclass.